Yeah, get that perfect angle. That perfect angle. Beautiful. A little sweaty, but beautiful. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on my channel. It is Kevin here coming from Kevlandia and if you do not know who I am, I am Kevin from Kevlandia. I am an agent agented writer trying to become a published author. Going traditional public, I don't know. Anyway, <coughs> this is off to a rocky start. I haven't recorded it in like a hot minute, but today we're going to talk about my wildest publishing dreams. Before we go into this, I do want to say that I did get this idea from, aka steal this idea from Lindsay Puckett. If you do not know who Lindsay Puckett is, she's a super amazing this wasn't a tag video, but I'm gonna treat it like that and pretend it like she tagged me. So thanks for tagging me, Lindsay. Go check out her channel if you don't know who she is. I'm assuming you do. She's amazing and yeah, Lindsay. That girl. And another thing I wanna address really quick is just to say that what Lindsay said at the beginning of her video, just because it may not be in in the news everywhere or you know all over your feed anymore, that the fight is still not over. We should continue supporting Black Lives Matter and all these funds. I'm gonna go ahead and list that link I put in my last video below. So you can go ahead and check those out. I'm doing this video like Lindsay did, just to put a little bit of a little bit of um a little bit of giggles out there, a little bit of happiness, but the fight's not over, so make sure you go ahead and check out all those links and you help any way you can. So I do wanna say a third little thing. I think that maybe Maybe I know for sure that some of my things I wrote down on my little list are gonna overlap with Lindsay's. And for that, Lindsay, I'm not sorry. I'm sorry that you stole my dreams and managed to think about making the video first. But maybe one day we can do some of these together. <sighs> I just burped. That was gross. Excuse me. For the list. Number one on the list. One of my wildest publishing dreams. Okay, some of these are gonna be like wild, but doable, maybe. I don't know. What do you consider wild? Subjective. But my number one on my list is I really have always wanted someone to write a fan fiction of one of my books. I don't know know why but the thought I, I used to write fan fiction where I, I feel like a lot of writers used to as well when they were younger especially writers I was gonna say around my age but that's not even true just writers a lot of writers did and I just love the idea of someone loving my story so much that they feel the need to write a story in that world or with my characters because they feel so invested in my characters that is what I want I want someone to read my books and become so obsessed with the the characters the ships the the atmosphere and the world building that they have they just have this this urge to write their own story based in that world. Damn it, my battery's about to die. I'm gonna grab my other one. Back with a brand new battery, probably a different angle. Oh well, hello, welcome. You're all beautiful and I love you. Back to fan fiction. I just, I really want someone to love my book so much that they feel the need that they have to do it. Cause that's how I felt when I read some stuff when I was younger, like Teen Titans. A really bad Teen Titan fan fiction out there somewhere, but you'll never know. On a side note, I've always wanted to write my fan fiction for my own book. If like I want something to go a different way, maybe, or like if I thought about it in a different way, write it and then like put it out there, and not tell anybody, and then maybe like 10 years after the book comes out, if it was like super popular, I would be like, oh, guess what, guys? There's like an alternate version of this book out there somewhere on the internet, and it's a fan fiction under a name. Can you guess what it is? If you can find it, you can read this alternate thing I wrote, and then like all the fans would go, oh my god! I don't know why that basically want to troll my readers, but it's not a troll because it I just spit everywhere. But it wouldn't be a troll because it would actually exist. In a similar vein, this one's a little, <laughs> this one might be a little weird, but I've always wanted someone to love my book so much that they get a tattoo of something based on the book. I don't know why. I guess basically I just want people to love me. I want people to love me and I want people to love my stories. This happened with my agent recently. There's a tattoo artist who read her book and then like fell in love with it and came up with these tattoo ideas based around her book. And I was just like, I want a tattoo artist to do that to me. I have to have a book published first. Fingers crossed that happens soon with the witch book. Okay, so the next thing on my list is I really want to be on a panel. And Lindsay said something similar, I believe in her video. Lindsay girl, let's get a panel going. I don't know what kind of panel. Let's be on a panel together where we'll talk about things. But really when it comes down to it, I don't even really have a specific panel that I want to be on. Maybe it could be an author tube specific panel, or it could be a writing panel about queer characters, or fantasy if it's about one of my fantasy books, or contemporary about one of my contemporary books. I don't know. I just have seen a lot of panels with a lot of authors, and I've just always dreamed of being on a panel. But I also like hate public speaking, surprisingly. I mean, this isn't really public speaking to me, but I hate public speaking. I feel like I'm really bad at it, and I feel like I would probably either poop my pants or puke all over myself in a setting where I had to do a panel, but for some reason, Reason, I'm ready for that puke and poop. I just am. The next thing on my list, Lindsay also said, so again, you stole all my wishes and just made a video before I could, but I really want to go on a writing retreat. Specifically, I would love to go on a writing retreat with, I want to go on one with a bunch of people I don't know, because I feel like that's how you get to make other writing friends, being around all these people that are like into the same thing as you that I don't necessarily already know. But I also would like to go on a writing retreat with a bunch of my friends. Hello, a bunch of my writing friends, like regular friends, that would just be a vacation. But a writing retreat with a bunch of my writing friends, this is what we all love. And we're all attracted in this mountain resort with a serial killer. 
I also would really like to host a writing retreat one day. I don't know what that would look like. Maybe I own a cabin in the woods with the serial killer running around, or maybe I just somehow set up the whole event. At the literary magazine in college that I internshiped at, I also did the event planning and I loved it. There's, there's a little part of me that's, that wants to like host a writing retreat and like figure out all the weird details. Okay, this is where we're all gonna go. Does everybody have a ride? I'm gonna figure out when the meals are. This is when blah, blah, blah. I love that crap. I love it. The next thing on my list, this one is especially out of my hands. Like some of these I could do myself. I could maybe reach out, see if I could be on a panel. I could, the writing retreat thing I could, I could maybe do. This next one though, I would love to win in an award and again, not even a specific award, just an award. Since I was young, probably like 15 and I was writing, I started reading YA a lot. I always saw the Stonewall Award and I would love to win that, but I know that it's like a prestigious one that is not easily, you know, just thrown out to whoever. So that was just really far in the wish list, hidden. But I would just like to win an award. I don't even know what it would be. I just, I feel like this is all coming, you hear that? I'm living outside my apartment. All of my wants so far have been boiling down to my need for outside validation, which I know is a thing I need. I, shut up. I know I need outside validation. It's something I'm working on. I introspectively journal, and I've noticed this for a long time that I'm constantly craving this outside validation. But you know what? I don't know about the rest of the list. It might be exactly the same. I'm just gonna have to go ahead and see what comes, because I don't know. I want to win an award. Okay, like I said about <laughs> needing outside validation, one of the things I really want is I really want someone to tell me that reading one of my books changed their life. And it doesn't even have to be in like a significant way. I remember reading so many books that hit me in a way that really changed my life. Like again, like it didn't completely change the trajectory of my life, but hit me at a certain time in my life when I really needed it. The LGBT book that I read when I was younger, I remember reading it and it hit me in this way. And it felt good to read a book about gay teens because I, I, I felt when I was reading a lot of YA back back in like 2008, 2007. There weren't as many, so it was like harder to get my, so let's just find them. Cause it wasn't a huge book community that I was aware of online. So it was hard for me to get to know other books. So it's basically just what was in my Barnes and Noble. And I just happened to stumble upon it. And it was called The Rainbow Boys. The series overall is, it's okay. But the first book really hit me, especially as a young teenager, middle teenager, what do you call that? 16 instead of middle teenager. It really hit me because I, again, I felt like I hadn't seen a lot. So I just want someone to tell me that one of my books changed your life. Even if it's just in the smallest little way, like, that would mean so much to me as a writer. That was what happened to me, so it's what I strive to have happen to my readers. There's also a mama bird outside my door and she has eggs and she just flew off. I hope her eggs are okay. This next one is so far out of my hands. I could never, this is really a wildest dreams for me. I would love if one of my books became a TV show. I feel like a lot of people say that they want their books to be made into movies, but for some reason, I've always wanted a TV show. The books I write could very easily lend themselves to seasons of a TV show, especially the witch book, that I feel like it would work so well. And honestly, CW, call me, I'll be your next Riverdale. Okay. Yeah, I would just love that. I would love it so much. I think my head would explode. That's it. That's that's the wildest dream for that. And my last goal is one I've had for, for a long time. By that, I mean like five years. It is something that, again, it's not really in my control. It's more of like publisher's control and reader's control because it depends on how much I'm being read and blah, blah, blah. I really, 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 my life goal, like, okay, I think of this like Sims where you can have like a lifetime achievement goal. My lifetime achievement goal has been for the past five years to have 1 million words in print at a given time. An average YA is like 50,000 words, you know, 50 to 80, depending. So it's about, I mean, if you wrote 10, 100,000 words, that would be a million, right? Yeah, okay. So it's like 10 to 15 bu bucks. It's about 10 to 15 books roughly, depending, you know, again, if they're shorter, longer, probably around like the 12 to 13 range, you'd have to have at published at the same time in print. That is my lifetime goal. I just, there's something about like being able to say I have a million words in print. That would be, I think, I think I would, I, I would just crumble into a million pieces and cry and probably eat something delicious. That's all I really want to do right now. Let's eat. That's really, I think that's it. I think that's it. Those are my, those are my wildest dreams. I know there are others that I'm not thinking of right now. I really do think the wildest one is probably, I don't know, TV show or having a million words in print because we all know why careers go. We know that a lot of them don't last for 10 years. My long-term goal is to be publishing for a very long time. That's what I want. And if I could hit that million word mark, girl, that'd be amazing. I just don't know if it's possible. Also, TV show seems like such a long shot that it's really wild. That's it. That's the video. That's one of my wildest publishing dreams. Again, thank you, Lindsay Puckett, for tagging me in this video that you didn't tag me to do. But I am gonna go ahead, like I said, treat this like a tag that I'm gonna say was created by Lindsay Puckett. I'm gonna go ahead and tag a few people. I'm gonna tag April K, Lauren Clark, Lizelle Sanberry, Jessica Williamson, Laura Wright. Basically, anyone watching this video, do this, do this, do this, because it's fun. I think it's good sometimes to talk about your wildest dreams, because even if it's a wildest dream, you never know. Anything could happen in life. And it's sometimes nice, and watching Lindsay's was nice to know that I'm not alone in like wanting some of these dreams. Go on over 
retreat with all my friends and like be on a panel. Like it's nice to have these 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 more things we have in common. I don't know what I'm doing. Patty cake. Who knows? And if I didn't tag you in this video, you can still do it. Do it. Just say that Lindsay tagged you because we're all just jumping on the Lindsay bandwagon. Band. Wagon. Again, like I said at the beginning of the video, just because it's not all over your timeline does not mean that the Black Lives Matter movement is done. We're always fighting this fight. Make sure you check out the links below. The link below, it has a long list of all the resources and places you can donate, things you can do to help if you don't have monetary or you can't go to protest. So just check out the link. Thank you for watching this video, everybody. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button below. And if you love the video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. And I'll hopefully have a video out next week because I have the next like couple weeks actually planned. And I've started recording. So I'm back. Yeah. Bye. I never, I never, I never, I, I